So I'm outside and now I'm going to use this spray for Cryline. It's a color master. And I'm just going to spray it on there. I'll test it out a little bit to see where I'm going to go with this. But I'm going to work with it and I'll be back shortly. So the top that I spray painted, you guys saw me doing, I'm getting ready to take that and I'm going to use some of that glitter paint that you saw me use for parts of the wall. I am going to take that same paint and paint it right on this surface. And so I am going to paint it and let you see what it looks like when it's all done. So this is the outcome of my top that I said I was going to paint. I spray painted first and then I went on with um, the glitter paint and a lot of the green shows up at this angle but um it's really pretty if you was to see it people thought i was supposed to have little fish in there the way when i lay it down when i lay it down and show you how it okay so here it is laying down the edge has like a nice little glitter sparkle but when you get on top of it it gives it a whole different look it is so beautiful so now that i like that so much against the black i think i'm going to take it up there to those doors that i painted black some time ago so it's already black, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. I'm going back to show you how that turned out. So this is how those doors look after about a coat of paint and then a coat of clear polyurethane. And they give off a really pretty light look on the door. Different. So I thought I'd at least let you see the outcome of those doors. Okay, so real quickly, I wanted to show you what I'm doing. I'm using that same glitter paint, and I decided I had painted this piece of board. And what I'm doing is I'm just painting it, this time with a swirly design. I'm going to use it as a tabletop on um, one of my corner tables in my redesigned salon. So I'm just doing like some figure eight ideas with the glitter paint. I think it's kind of cool. I love the way it's drying. It's so pretty. And if you like bling bling, hey... This is the thing to do. And look how pretty that is. And when it gets dry, I will be back to show you the drying. So I'm going to sit this down and I'm going to do it right there because I can't really touch that corner, touch it too much. But I'm just making little swirly designs on here because this is just going to be on a tabletop. I'm going to get it in there and then we just make it all kind of designs. Just get funky with that. So now what I've done, I've let this dry so far. See how nice that dried out? When I turn it to an angle, it gives it kind of like a bluish color. And then when I turn it another way, it gives it kind of greeny. So it's okay, because it's okay what I want to do with this. Just a piece of wood I had laying around. I'm getting ready to put a coat of polyurethane over it. So if someone wants to sit something on here, it won't leave like a ring. So the polyurethane will help cover that. So what I'm going to do, I buy these little cheap paint brushes so I can throw them out in the end. I just take some of this polyurethane. I'm just going to paint, paint this whole thing. And put a clear coat right over it and if you notice that's all i'm going to do see i'm just going to put a clear coat so i will continue putting this clear coat over this and then i will be back when it's dry to show you how it ended up okay okay so i just finished painting and look at the high shine it's got it just has to dry right now so when that's dry then we'll come back and show you where that's going to sit so that will be a little bit. All right. Okay, so I'm back with my piece of wood that I had a piece of scrap of. I put two coats of the polyurethane, one coat of the sparkly paint, and that's what I got. And if you notice up there on the corners, I kind of chipped it out a little bit. I just took a um, pliers or some little needle nose pliers and just kind of chipped it out just so it'll fit on top of that table there. Because it has nothing to sit through. It cuts fall through. And guess what? It fits perfectly. So let me throw that on there right quickly. Show you how it's going to look. Okay. Right, right there. Well, it took a second to put it on there. And this is what it looks like. That's exactly what we wanted. Just a little, little tabletop. See the beautiful shine it's giving? I just want a little tabletop so cups can fit on here. And this is just some little things we're doing in my shop to give clients some comfort to put their, client, their cups. So yeah. this is the outcome of the tabletop that I did, as I told you, the cup will sit on there nicely. I put a plant on there and it looks so nice and so neat on top there that people have somewhere to put their stuff. So if you like this video, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and thumbs up. Bye.